Okay. So I can see myself. Now I'm going to have a moment where I really start to let go of the mind. Uh -huh. And before that happens, it seems like I'm going to be come really, really, really still, almost like a mannequin or something. And yeah, you, you do this. become very still. You become very still. Sometimes, you know, this is a part of be still and know that I've mm -hmm. got, be still and know. Mm -hmm. One becomes still with the mind and everything becomes still. You, this is the value of the open-eye meditation because one is still, okay? One is still. One's resting in the heart center and the eyes are registering, but one is not that focus on what the eyes are grasping. We're not externalized into that grasping. We're resting in the heart, rather, okay? And that brings about that stillness. And with the stillness comes that expansion. And one would think, well, with stillness, then I'm not going anywhere, there's nothing. But instead of that, it's more of that expansion takes place. Okay? So one is opening up, rather, in stillness than the opposite of closing down. One would think I need to be in motion in order to experience, but actually more experience comes when one is within that stillness and that expansion. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what the, the practices are there to bring you towards. Mm -hmm. A stilling, stilling of the mind. When the mind is still, then one goes beyond duality. As long as the mind is still in motion and creating more and more of these other experiences <clears throat> in duality, the more is still, one is still in separation. So this is why we want to get you beyond that point of doing astral realms and travel and all that other nonsense because that's all duality. Mm -hmm. Even seeing the gods and all of that is still in duality. Mm -hmm. So the path is about seeing where you're in that duality and then bringing you back to where you go more into that stillness so that can fall away and you can get to reality. So I, it feels kind of good in the way I feel like I'm right now duplicating, in a way duplicating what I did with the body I'm doing for the mind. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to get too stuck into just doing that. I, I mean, it's a new experience, but then as I see myself, what I need to do, and then I remember, oh yeah, I did the same thing with the body. I became very, very still. And I didn't know what was going to happen, but I know I was like, something was happening where I was like setting myself up to start. Right, right, right. So now that you know that, at this point, let's go forward and just allow yourself to relax into it and see what shifts of consciousness are going to take place. Okay? You don't need to try to manufacture anything. Right. That the practices pull you into grace, and the grace is what uncovers this. And for the grace to come, one has to surrender and make room for the grace to come in, okay? When you're in doership, you're in ego, and then you're the controller, and then you have no room for anything to come in, okay? I'm the doer, okay? So be very, very still and see what happens. That's right. Allow the stillness to come in. Just like today, we did the balanced breath. Mm -hmm. And then whatever sound you hear, own that I am, and allow that to be felt, allow that to, to come in without pushing it away. And you'll find that stillness emerges out of that sound. <clears throat> okay? It's not separate. Not two. The stillness and quiet is not separate from sound, and you'll find out that this is that great paradox that begins to take place. Okay? as one starts to expand and open, and things begin to fall away. <laughs> okay, okay. Namaste. Thank you.